Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show. We're with Ed Upstad. Ed, tell me a little about yourself, please, sir. All right, my name is Ed Dubstad. I'm uh, a family practitioner, family practitioner from Arlington, Texas. Uh, I'm not a custom bike builder. I'm a physician by trade. I just uh, have a hobby of uh, riding motorcycles and and uh, now working on them, building them, I guess. What were you trying to accomplish with this big this build, Ed? Well, you know. We're basically just doing this as a as a daily rider. Uh, it was a bike that I became interested in and uh, kind of bought from the, all the pieces in the crate and started fabricating what would fit together to create uh, a clean, trying to be minimalist bobber style bike. What was your inspiration on this bike? Well, you know, uh, I have a lot of friends that worked at American Iron Horse in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, and my brother uh, did a lot of the paint for that company. And when they um, started to go out of business, they had the idea of uh, building a, a bobbers, and this was the bike that they were going to assemble as their prototype, so they had a lot of the parts. And uh, a lot of the design uh, was done by uh, Kevin Morgan, Jeff Long, and uh, Derek McKenzie. And so they weren't really going to finish it, and I thought it, it needed to be finished, so uh, I got the parts from them and uh, hired a lot of them to, to come on and help me finish it. Tell me about the fabrication on this bike. Well, we uh, started with a, a stock Harley Springer front end, and we uh, cut four inches out of the out of the down tubes so that we could um, uh, shorten that front end and bring the front wheel closer to the frame. Uh, it's a Daytec chassis uh, with a 200 rear wheel, and uh, we put an SNS shovel head, 93 cubic inch uh, stock motor in it, and uh, went with performance machine, transmission, primary controls, and brakes. Uh, the, the tank is all hand fabricated and the oil bag is hand fabricated and the rear fender is hand fabricated. And we had to do a fair amount of uh, design and engineering work to get the, uh, the sprocket and the rotor, brake rotor on the rear on the same side so we could open up the, uh, the other side and keep it as clean as possible. And then we did a fair amount of engineering work on the seat linkage to, keep, uh, to give the seat a little suspension. How much time and cost did you have in the motor? Well, the motor we didn't put much into. It's a box stock 93 SNH shovel head with uh, no modification. It's a high compression shovel with uh, dual plug head, so we're running four spark plugs uh, for two cylinders. What was your approach on paint? Well, uh, my brother does paint uh, out of, he used to do it for Iron Horse, and he started a company called Dimension 3 Design, and uh, we wanted to keep it simple, but we also wanted to make it look impressive, so we decided to do the frame solid black, so we decided not to do powder coat, instead we did paint, and uh, on the sheet metal we wanted to draw your eye to the, to the flat black of the frame, so we put flat black panels on each part of the sheet metal to, to draw that into the flat black as well. And the pipes we had ceramic coated um, um, by a, a company there in Arlington called Performance Coatings. And we did the heat shield is also ceramic, although it looks polished, aluminum or chrome. What companies were instrumental in getting your bike finished? Well, uh, you know, I think that a lot of the design work was done by individuals that used to work for, for Iron Horse. Kevin Morgan did a lot of the design, Jeff Long did a lot of the design, and then uh, Derek McKenzie, who uh, runs McKenzie Motorsports, did most of the assembly and, and fabrication at the very uh, tail end. And uh, then Dimension 3 Design did the, the paint, and uh, they also run a company called HelmetPaint.com. Let's talk about the seat. That's quite unique. Yeah, the seat, I, you know, I wanted to, I gave it a little bit of a doctor flair by running the Caduceus on it. And um, it was done by a guy named Joe who runs Psycho Stitch uh, Seats. And uh, we wanted to keep it clean looking, but also uh, give it kind of a flair. And that's why you see the, the Caduceus is stitched onto the seat there. Did you want to give anybody's uh, phone number or website on any of the uh, 
Yeah, again, the, the paint is dimension3design.com, and then McKenzie Motorsports has a website, uh, mckmoto, macmoto.com. As well as uh, the, the helmetpaint.com uh, is a sister company to dimension3design.com. Ed, thanks a lot. I appreciate it.